Hi guys, welcome to your little workout today. All you need is an equipment, is a mini band. And if you don't have one, that's totally fine. You can do every exercise without it. Uh, at the Aries Training Club today, we're gonna have a little Pilates class and a combo with strength training. Uh, I'll do all the movements, I'll cue the movements for you. All you need to do is follow and listen. And we're gonna be fine. I'm starting with a little warm up just to get some blood pumping through your system. And then we go to that mini band and we work booty and abs. That's all we're doing today. So, you start with your feet together. Just relax those shoulders, sink down in those knees. You take a big breath in, you reach up. Big breath out, arms down, shoulders back. And then we roll. Bending those knees at the bottom. Stretching, coming all the way up again. Big breath in. Roll those shoulders back and roll down again. Bending and stretching. We do that two more times. Shoulders back two times. Rolling down. Bending to stretch. Coming up all the way again. Two shoulders back. Now we stay down. You start to bend and stretch those knees. Of course, you can lift your heels while you're doing that. Bending and stretching. Bending to stretch. Two more times. One and up and two. Then we stay down. You bend the left leg, left hand down. The right hand comes up. You rotate down again. You do the same thing to the other side. And we're doing that four more times. One to each side, up and down. And really try to look to that hand so you're really twisting that spine. And from here you roll up all the way again. You drop those shoulders back two times to roll down. To bend and stretch four times. This is one. Up and two. You have three. Now we're gonna walk out with those hands to a plank. So you simply walk out, you place your hands underneath your shoulders. Belly button up, make sure you're not hanging. You push forward and back. Forward and back. And then of course we keep on breathing. Telling yourself you're doing great. Push and pull. So really try to keep those hips in the same line as your shoulders. We're here for four. And three. Two. Last one, you pull your right knee to your right elbow. It goes in four times, that is one. Two. Three, last one, you swap to the left leg, it goes in and out. Two more. And two times with the right leg, it goes in, out, in, two left, it goes in, out. Good, from here you send your hip back to down dog. You start to push your heels down. You reach the right hand to the left. Left hand to the right. Right hand to the left, two more times. After the last one, you come back to that plank position, two hands underneath your shoulders, two hold, right leg in, left leg swap it in, it goes in, and in, four more times, this is one, two, three, and four, hold the plank, the right hand comes up, you're in a side plank, now either you stay there with your hand or you keep it at your hip, you start to lift up, and up, so really try to squeeze from those obliques, Lifting up, making sure you're pushing away from that shoulder. We keep it four, and three, and two. And last one, hold it there, back to plank. Exactly the same thing to the other side. You lift up, we hold and pump it up. We stay for four, up, three, up, two, and up. And back to that straight plank, just hold it there. You send your hips back to down dog, and now your goal is to reach those elbows to that floor. So you try to dip your elbows eight times down. Two, three, and of course you can lift those heels up and bend your knees if you have to. If not, you really try to keep those heels down. Here's your last two counts. One, and two, back to plank to hold. Really push up in between those shoulders, belly button up. You slowly walk back to your feet, rolling all the way up. And as you come up, you meet me in a squat position. So you squat it down low, you push your weight back to your heels and you pump your hips down. Eight and seven. You keep it low, no reason to come up. You stay down really, really low for four and three. Both of those heels will come up, you're on toe. Eight, two and one, stay down low. You lift it up and down, up and down. Eight more times, seven, six, five, four. After those four last ones, your right leg steps back and that's a lunge position. 
You keep your knee over your heel. Let's go. We did it down. So that knee stays over that heel and you're pulsing the back leg. Now that right leg is going to kick up. And we keep that weight on the left leg. We're here for four. And three. And two. It's one kick up and then we dip it. It goes lift, dip, lift, dip, up and down. It doesn't have to be high. You just have to keep your weight on the left leg. For four, three, two. You come back to that same lunge position. You hold it eight, seven, six. Then we're just swapping legs in four, three, in two, and one. Step together, walk it back and pump and then sometimes now and then we remind ourselves to breathe start to get warm and very soon we're going to grab that mini band we kick the left leg up in four three two and kick it it goes up and dip if you find it easier to hold balance by looking down well then you look down if not you can look up four Three, two, and last pump down to the floor. We keep it eight, seven, six, five. Stepping back to your squat in three, in two, and one. Hold it low. The right leg crosses left, center, left, center. And again, there's no reason to come up. You stay down to the floor for eight, seven, six. Five. Keep it low. Four. Three. Two. You cross it to the left again and we hold the pump. You stay low. Hold it. Eight. Seven. Try to keep that knee straight forward. Four. Three. Two. To center. Hold it there. Four. Four. Stay low for three. Two. And one. Other side. We cross and dip. Same thing here. That knee stays forward. Four. Three and two and one step together big breath in to roll it down and you bend and you stretch two more times bend and stretch and bend to roll it up Woo. and that was your warm-up sip of water and then we go to the minute back Perfect. Now boys and girls, we stay on the floor. Just a little mini band. Goes around your knees. Now, depending on the resistance of the band, it really doesn't matter. This heavy band gets heavier and vice versa. We come down, you lay down on your back. Now as we're down on the floor, you really try to squeeze those glutes. Your shoulders are down, your hips are up. And as you're lifting, make sure you're not hanging. So you want to tuck that pelvis up and in. And then you slowly start to press those knees out to the side. It goes out and out. And as we're doing this, we're not, not bouncing our hips. We try to keep them up. If your hands are holding or if your hands are down, it doesn't matter, but we're still breathing. We keep it here for eight, six, then we're walking with the right leg and left leg. It's four steps out, so it goes one, two, three, four. We try to keep those hips up as we're walking. No need to drop them down. Out, three, and in. Then we swap it to the left leg starts going left, right, left, right, in, in, and two more times. It goes one, three, four, one, two three last round going out really press those heels down to the floor in in good back to those knees pumping out and out keeping those hips up and then we stay for eight six now the right leg will come into your chest and then we're gonna push it out you keep those hips up in two and one it goes in push in push so really try to fight with that band now pushing those hips up pulling that knee to your chest sending that heel out and of course you're trying to dig that left heel down to the floor as you're fighting with the band coming in and out 
and in and out for four, three, two, simply swapping to the left leg one more time, placing it down, left leg going, hips up first, hold it there, go in, out, in, out. Now you should feel that burn in your glutes and in your hamstring, your hamstring is your backside thigh. So really trying to dig that right heel down now. We keep it four, and three, and two, and one. Two heels down, hips up, hold it. You send those knees out, but first you place those heels together, keeping those hips high, and you open. It goes eight, seven, six, five. We're soon coming up to sit. And three, and two, parallel legs, hold it. Hips even higher. Then you roll it down, you grab those knees, you come up to sit. And we're gonna keep this little mini band. It's all about this little mini band today, boys and girls. Now, as you're sitting, I need to round your spine. So we're not arching. We're gonna try to roll back behind your tailbone. We hold it there. You're gonna pick up those knees towards your chest and you're gonna send them out. So it goes up, dip, up, dip for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, we hold it up. You try to keep those knees and those heels in the same line, and we stay there. And if you're feeling cocky, you stretch those legs, and we hold it there. Just breathing, telling yourself you're doing amazing. We hold it for eight more counts. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, bending those knees in, hold it, lower them down, now you start to roll your upper body down, so you go down to your shoulder blades, as you come up you try to stop your hands over your knees, because the higher up you sit, the more you're resting, so you want to keep that distance going down, for two, up, for two, not higher than to your knees, so you want to keep that curve, every time you're up, you're still rounding that spine, Sitting behind your tailbone. And if it's starting to burn now, great. Just keep it. If it's burning, we know it's working. Four more times. This is one. Two. Three. And then you have one more. Coming up to hold again. Lifting those knees up. Either they are bent or you stretch them. And if you want to make it pretty, you can point those feet. Just hold it there for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Good, grabbing those knees, rolling down. Now in this little position, you wanna keep your knees over those hips. You wanna tuck your pelvis down. So what we're not doing is this. We don't wanna focus on getting that lower part of your spine to the floor. Hands behind your head, just lift your head up. You can let your head rest in those hands. Now from here, the left leg stays still, knee over heel. And if it's hard to keep track of that leg, you can hold your hand there. We push the right leg, bring it in, go out, in. Again, either you hold that hand or you bring that hand behind your head again, whatever suits you best. But that lower spine stays down to the floor for four and three. Now we're simply swapping legs. You have one more, going with the left, go out and out keep on breathing don't hold your breath whatever you do four three two and last one now here comes the fun part you do the same thing both legs you stretch them out for the corner again only as far as i can keep that lower spine flat you bend your knees in to your chest and you reach it goes in and you reach Well, the more good things you tell yourself doing class, boys and girls, the easier it all will feel. So you keep on telling yourself I'm doing great. I got this. I love this burn, best burn in the world. In and out. In and out. For eight, seven. Keeping that lower spine down, still holding tension in that band. So we're never making that band sloppy. We have three, we have two, 
and one more count. Just hold it there. If you're feeling cocky, you reach those hands over your head. Maybe you lower those legs a little bit. We stay for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Just hug those knees for a little second. Those legs are going up to the ceiling. And three, two, and one. Now, same thing here. We're point painting with those feet. So you can just imagine you have a big, beautiful canvas in front of you. Hands behind your head. As you paint, you flex those feet. Keeping that lower spine down all the time. You're holding tension, bending to lift. Now, it doesn't matter how far you go out. All that matters is that that lower spine is down. It can be a millimeter before you bend. But as soon as we start to do this, we need to start over, finding that core, painting out, bending to lift, out, bending to lift. Super. Maybe you can imagine yourself painting with your favorite color. Going out, lifting up. And just as I said, if you don't have a mini band, you can do the exact same exercises without the band. The mini band just makes it a little bit more heavy. Four more times. Yet again, there's no sloppy bands. We're still holding tension. As you're pushing those legs a little bit out to the side, you get the outside of your thighs at the same time. Here comes your last one. Good, we pick it up to 90 degrees. And when I say 90 degrees, again, you can measure your hand as your arm is straight. You know that your knee is above your hip. You hold it there, you flex your feet, tension in the band, don't make it sloppy. Then, nothing moves in your spine, your chin is up, nice and slowly. You lower your legs towards the floor, and you come up. And yet again, as soon as you start to feel like you're lifting, you go a little bit less slow, and you come back to center. Nice and slowly out and up. Really pushing that lower spine down. Now the reason we're holding that lower spine down is so that you're not tensing your hip. If you start to lift that lower spine up, it goes all to your hip flexors, which we don't want. So we're really gonna push that spine down and lift. If you want to make it really nasty, you just slow down the tempo. Eight more times. Six. We have five. We have four. Then we're gonna let those abs rest for a moment and we're gonna start to continue again. It, those booties of ours. Three more times. And two. And last one. Good, grabbing those knees, coming up. Woo! Is it burning yet? My abs are on fire. Well, maybe that's just me. You turn around. So this minute up is being held by one knee. I'm starting with the left. You start with whatever leg. So the minute band is being held by one knee. You send the other leg back. Now as we're down on those elbows, you make sure you're not hanging. And whenever we're lifting that leg, we're not bouncing. There's no movement. You keep that belly button up. The little mini band, slipper little thing here today, is being held by your knee. And again, the reason your knee is holding is so that you can lift the other leg without that band slipping away. So tension there, don't hang on those shoulders, lift up active core and you start to lift the right leg it's a little pump it stays up high now the same leg you're gonna point that toe and we're gonna start to do mini circles in four three two and pointed circle whatever direction because we're gonna swap the direction too we keep it eight seven six five four three two we swap it going eight six Going back to that flex foot and then we pump it up again. And two, and one, we lift it up, up, up. Now, there's no reason thinking going down because that band will pull you down. So you're just focusing going up. For seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, we hold it up. Now you ask yourself, can I lift that leg higher? Then you do that. You bend your knee a centimeter, then you push your heel to the wall behind you. Dip and push and dip and push. For five, four, three, two. The last one, you hold it there, you lift it even higher. Now it drops all the way to the floor to lift to the floor and lift. For six, up, five, up. You lift it and you hold it one second at the top. I should be able to take a picture there as you're up and down. Two more, one and two and hold. We lift it eight, seven tiny pumps. For four, three, two and hold. Everything's burning, congratulations. Bend your knee, you send it higher, your heel leaves the movement, you pump it eight, seven. That knee will go to the other knee and we're gonna try to lift it out to the side. And three, and two, and hold it there one second. It goes down to the side and down. Now as you're moving to the side, you focus on that knee lifting, not your heel, it's your knee leading the movement. Up, in, up, in, good. For four, three, two, and up, last pump before we swap with eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, beautiful. Then you simply swap legs. So again, the knee holds the bounce, so you really need to place that below. You stretch the other leg back, you come down, tension in between those shoulders, belly button up, whoops. See, we should also use tape now and then so we really hold those bands still, you know. You keep it there, you flex your back foot, really pressing that leg down and pump it up, up, up. Now same thing here, squeezing the glutes as you lift. Now a really cool thing is that if you're thinking of a muscle working, it works better. So it's mind and muscle connection. Send all the love you have in you to that left side glute now. And then we start to circle, point your foot and circle for eight. Six, four, three, two, we swap direction, going eight, six, back to the mini pump, you flex your foot and pump it, it goes lift and lift. You really think of that muscle working so it works better. Lift, four, three, two, and hold it there. You keep it higher, then you bend your leg a centimeter, and we push, we dip, and push, and dip, and push. So you really focus on getting that heel to the wall behind you. Don't focus to the ceiling, we're gonna do that later. Now you're pushing it back. In, and out, and in, and out. For four, and three, and two, and one. Hold it there, lift it, pump, lift. Hold it at the top. You lift a little bit higher, hold it. Then we lower it to the floor, it goes down, up, hold. Yet again, I should be able to take a picture at the top and down and lift and down and lift. For six, five, four, three, two, one more pump. We send it up to the ceiling. Now remember, we're gonna bend that leg, it becomes a 90 degree angle. And three, two, and one, bend it in, hold it there, go higher. And then you start to lift it. After eight times, you go knee to knee, and then it goes out to the side. In four, three, two, and move it. It goes in, to the side, and down, and up. In, to the side, and up. I promise you, we're soon gonna take away this little band. Good. Four, four, three, two, last one, up and hold it. Finish it off nice. You come down. Woo! How's your booties? Mine is on fire, but that's all we want. Then, you remove this band, we finish off without it. You're sitting down on your mat. 
Yet again, so nice to not have the band, isn't it? Coming up, you send those legs out. Now if you're low, again, that lower spine goes down. So you push and you pull. Now suggestively, you breathe out where it's heavy, which is up. We keep it there for four, three, two, and last one. Hold it there. The right leg stretches out, and then we swap it. So you dip seven, six, five, four, three, two, up and hold it. Maybe those legs are straight, maybe those legs are bent, maybe you're holding all of it. But you try to balance there for four, three, two, good. Just hold it, and make those knees. Swooping through, you come back to a little plank position. Now same thing here, in this little plank, there's no hanging, you wanna push up. And just to get some flow up in this body, we run it. Last thing we're doing, we keep it now for eight, seven, six, five. Don't hold your breath for three, two, and one, and one, and plank, and stay for eight, seven, six, you have four, three, two, finish it up nice, you walk to your hands and your feet, you roll up, those shoulders are coming back two times, Woo! And that is your workout. Now, my name is Astrid, I'm usually a trainer at the place, I teach yoga and bar and mega former and a variety of Pilates exercises. You can find me on my Instagram, which is movement by Astrid. And this workout we did today, you're going to find on their homepage, they have a YouTube channel and there's plenty of workouts there you can see and try it out. It's both in the gym, it's on the bikes, it's on the mats, it's with bands, it's without bands. So there's plenty of options for you. So don't forget to subscribe to that channel and I'll see you there. Mm -hmm.